Alright everybody, hey and welcome to Mommy Mondays. My name is Asusena. This is the lovely kind big. Hey baby. Hey baby. Que paso? Anyway, so he is my five month old. Well, he turns five months this Friday. And yeah, he's so big. He's wearing his little new diapers. Um, the diaper covers that is. And I just have some really cool stuff to show you because we kind of went a little ham at the store. It's hard to not buy like all the baby stuff. Granted, we know we don't need all of it, but there are just some things that we really needed to get because it's starting to get cold. And because of the fact that, um, well, whether you've been following um, his journey from before birth to now, uh, we thought about breastfeeding. We have been breastfeeding five, well, we're gonna be five months strong. I'm super happy that it's such a big milestone for us, isn't it, baby? However, the fact that we've been only breastfeeding makes it difficult in the terms that he will not take a bottle. So it's kind of like, oh, what are we gonna do? Que vamos a hacer? I don't know, what are we gonna do? Oh, look at those little hands. Esa manita, mira, mira. So, um, this is actually one of the things I made for him. I know, isn't it super fancy? I actually really like it. If I'm here hanging out with him, um, I'll play with this. I'm like, oh, it's supposed to be for the baby. But I know he likes playing with it too. It's pretty heavy actually. Anyways, but that's not what this video is about. We bought some stuff at the store and I'm gonna show it to you because I've been really nervous about the fact that it's gonna get cold. Um, they usually say that even in the summer, they were like, okay, make sure that the baby wears one more layer than what you're wearing. Pero, but I feel like my baby gets hot. You know, lo trato de tapar y siempre se, siempre se quita la cobija, siempre se destapa. So I try to cover him up, but he always kicks off the blanket. So I need to figure out like what's gonna happen, right? So these are some of the things we got him. We got him these little socks. Um, at Ross, um, they're eight pairs. I mean, they were five bucks for eight pairs. One thing we were really going for was like a wide top here, just because my little chunky monkey has really thick legs. Yeah, mommy wanna be that thick. Anyways, I really slimmed down. Less <laughs> mama. But anyways, not that, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that we had to get some socks that were wider from the top just so we could make sure that just so we could make sure that it wouldn't like leave a mark it may leave a mark but just not as strong of a mark you know what i mean because we don't want them um you know cutting that circulation so yeah these are six to twelve months so that was important for us now another thing victor wanted to do oh, real quick look, look how cute that is look there's like little puppies on it and stuff a kitty a frog una rana what's over here looks like a tiger i mean they're super cute you know they're kiddish um another one i need a and then the fun thing is like taking all these little thingies off that hold it on together um i know but we got them shoes and let me tell you people are like it's arizona blah 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 i mean granted he has like these little sandals but we're thinking of taking them up to flagstaff too so these are six to twelve Oh, six to nine. Just kidding. Six to nine. Que pasó, mi amor? Eres tu monkey? You want your monkey? Ah, es una monkey. Es una monkey. Anyways, so these shoes, I mean, granted, they're not for him to be walking in. That's not the point. No. But we do want him to be cute, you know, styling up in Flagstaff. Yeah. No, but we also want his feet to not be cold. That's my biggest concern. Because I'm like, you know, when you go up to Flagstaff, I am what you call a desert rat. And I get cold, so I don't want him to be cold. We don't want you to be cold. He could... So, yeah, we got these shoes for him. Um, yeah, it's just because of that. I don't want him to be cold. That's the biggest thing. I know that they're not going to be for a long time, but dude, like, again, I don't want him to be cold, especially up in Flagstaff. That being said... We also got them something a little bit more casual. Mira, mira, yeah. And they got like the little no slip thingy here. Um, just because he's going to be crawling around. Um, our house gets cold too. We're also the type of people that don't turn on the heater. So, uh, yeah, we got these two. These are like six bucks and these were what, seven bucks? Yeah. So, you know, we got them these two. 
um this is more for here and that kind of stuff i mean just for kind of anything i do have some pantuflas that my grandma my great grandma actually um knitted for him so he's gonna be wearing those too but you know like my house gets dirty we have the dogs and everything so it's stuff that we had to be like switching out constantly you know to make sure that it's clean now a couple of other things you know it's halloween <laughs> so we bought this and couldn't resist because we say that we are one and done that means we got to go ham with everything because we only get one time to to do all of this so it comes with the little beanie the little bib and then little socks so we'll figure out how to like make it all look on it but we're super excited because we're gonna do like this really cool photo 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 shoot i'm looking forward to that again i tell victor we only have one so we gotta go all out um we got him like this little mitten so he can chew on um cost eight bucks it's like 742 on amazon essentially the same thing for like 50 cents off so we just decided to get it now because he's actually like sticking his finger in his mouth but he'll also stick his fingers in his mouth so i think this might be a little better for him also because he has little marks on the bottom of his um and it comes with a little travel bag he has little marks on his gums on the bottom so i'm thinking he's gonna be sprouting out some teeth pretty soon huh and then ira acá está conmigo but he's not on top of the mat he'll move all over the place and end up over here or wherever we also got him this little banana you know so that he can go ahead and start teething it also cleans a little um i really like this little sensory thing i'm like oh i like that so yeah i mean when i shower him i le tallo la lengua i brush his tongue I, I i scrub his tongue a little with a little washcloth before washing his body and that kind of stuff but yeah we need something that he can just be able to grab himself and that kind of thing I mean, we're almost done and then we got him this cup it's a dr brown's cup we have a dr brown's bottle and he used to drink out of it so well when we were in NICU at the hospital granted because we stopped using the bottle and that kind of thing um i think we have to just be a little uh we just have to spend some time you know getting used to him getting him used to the bottle and it's so funny because before it was like no bottle and rightfully so but now it does make it a little difficult sometimes and when i say sometimes i mean the one time twice only twice um post hospital stay in his whole five months of life so i mean that's not bad but still like you know we want to make sure that he's able to take the bottle just in case you know victor and i want to take another date night or date day whatever so we actually started thinking that so this is like six months and up so and this was only three bucks it holds six ounces i, I always love that it measures the ounces this is cool the lid comes up and it doesn't come off you know so i kind of like that um So, oh, sorry, if you can see his little face. Huh? Your little face. My little monkey. My little chicky monkey. The kid is coming at my knees. So, um, it has like a little, you know, this. This is what they would drink out of. Just because he is getting older now, he's going to be able to start holding stuff. This will be his cup when he's having dinner with us. But um, we're hoping that this will be one way that he starts to drink milk. So anyways, those are just some of the things we got for baby boo. Just because, you know, he's getting big. He's a big boy. He's almost half a, half a year old. The Fantown mess. You know, so we're just prepping for his teeth. Because um, that's only a matter of time. And also just making sure that we're better prepared for the next time we drop him off with this tia or with this grandma. Anyways, until next time, I hope you have a lovely week. And I'll see you soon. Say bye, baby. Ah. Okay. <laughs>